Today is the ultimate filter showdown. What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Yes, today we are doing the best filter for a turtle tank, mainly a comparison between the canister filter and the hang on tank power filter. I would say that these are two of the most common types of filters used on turtle tanks. So we're gonna look at some of the benefits and drawbacks of each of them. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a better idea of which filter will work best for your turtle tank. Okay, so first off, I think it's pretty important to understand why we need filtration before we get into the different types and their distinctions. Essentially, whenever you have an aquatic pet that lives in an enclosed environment. They are pooping in that tank, they are eating in that tank, and they're leaving behind waste in that tank. And because that waste doesn't just like wash down the river or get diluted by the rain, we need some way to keep the tank water clean in captivity. And the way we do that is with filters. Filters provide mechanical filtration, so they take the physical particles of waste out of the water. They also provide biological filtration, which kind of breaks down the actual like components of the waste, the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. That's basically all the invisible stuff that makes the water dirty and unhealthy for the animal. Of course, even with filters, you still have to do consistent water changes. I typically do 30% bi-weekly. So that's the really quick explanation to filtration. If you want information, feel free to subscribe because I do videos like this all the time and also check out the filtration playlist up here. Now, when looking at the different kinds of filters, there are two main ones that most people will come across. And that would be the canister filter like this one, or like this. The second is the hang on tank, which kind of looks like this. I have used both for a number of years now, so I kind of wanted to share my opinions. So first I wanna go over each filter individually so you can kind of understand how they work, and then we'll go over some different categories and compare them directly to one another. First, let's start with the ever popular hang on tank power filter, sometimes called a hot filter, H-O-T, hang on tank, or an HOB filter, hang on back. These are some common acronyms used with these types of power filters. Also, side note, I'm using the box because the actual filter's on my tank and I don't have a spare power filter, but you can kind of just see the picture here, or I'll actually, I'll throw one up, I'll throw a picture up right here. You can see that it's basically just this little box that hangs on the outside of the tank. There's an intake tube that sucks water up and into the filter. It goes through a series of media baskets and then it comes back out in this little waterfall kind of deal. This picture here basically demonstrates how the filter works and that is the basics of a hang on tank power filter. Now, canister filters, as you can see, they tend to be a little bit larger. This is also an external filter, so the main part of the filter sits outside of your tank. This whole bucket space here is space for filter media and then there's a pump up here in which there is both an outtake pipe and an output. Sorry, I always say outtake, outtake. I mean outtakes are like beep, like the bloopers an output. So there's an output pipe and an intake pipe. The intake pipe takes water in and the outtake or output pipe puts the water out. This has to sit underneath the level of the water in order for it to work. So for the most part, people will put this underneath the tank stand and there are these really long tubes that reach into the tank to take in and put out water. So now that you have some familiarity with these two filters, let's put them head to head and do some comparisons. The first category is size. You may have been able to notice just by the pictures, but canister filters are definitely the winner in this category. Because these filters are just made to be a lot bigger, they just have so much more space for filter media. Why is this good? Well, that's just because it means it can basically hold more waste before you have to clean it. And we'll get to maintenance in a second. They also tend to have a higher flow rate because they're just made for bigger tanks. And this is good for turtle tanks because the guideline that I try to get people to follow is get a filter rated for two to three times the size of your tank. So if you have a tank that is 40 gallons, you wanna try to get a filter that says it's rated for aquariums up to 80 gallons or 100 gallons, something like that. Take the number of your tank and double it, essentially, or at least the amount of water in your tank and double it. I've done videos on this if that doesn't make sense, but I hope I hope it makes sense. Hang on tank filters have some potential here as well, but because they're hanging on the lip of the tank, they really only get so big and sometimes you'll have to use multiple in order to get the amount of filtration you want for your tank. Now moving on, let's talk about maintenance. As I mentioned, canister filters have a lot of space for media, so that means that they can hold more waste before you go in and clean them. However, in my experience, I will say that it is a lot easier to clean a hang on tank filter than it is to clean a canister filter. The reason for this is that you can just take the lid off of your hang on tank filter, pull out the media basket, 
rinse it in some tank water, and stick it back in. It's a super easy and simple process. With canister filters, normally they're sitting underneath your tank. You have to detach the intake and outtake pipes, out, output pipes, output. You have to take and lug this giant thing outside in order to clean it. And there's a lot of media to go through. So the process of maintaining that filter just takes a lot longer. I've done videos on cleaning both the hang on tank and the canister filter. So if you wanna check those out, they will be up here so you can kind of compare the process for that. But just know that although you will have to clean a canister filter less often, it's gonna just take a little bit longer. So I think in the end, it kind of balances out. You just have to decide what you wanna prioritize. Do you want the easier but more often maintenance or do you want the more difficult not as often maintenance. Next, let's talk about filtration effectiveness. There's two parts to this. There is circulation, and also the filter media effectiveness. So let's start with media. Obviously, a canister filter is a lot bigger, so there's a lot more room for layering of media in order to trap all of the particles inside the tank. With hang on tank filters, because they're smaller, usually you can only get two to three layers of media, and so it may not trap waste particles as well. As for the circulation part, this is just how well the filter moves water in the aquarium because you don't want the water in your aquarium to be stagnant. You want it to constantly be pushed through the filter, cleaned and put back into the aquarium. With a hang on tank filter, the input and the output of the filter are fixed. They're right next to each other. There's the intake pipe that takes the water in and then there's the output waterfall that just puts the water back into the tank. And they're right next to each other. So you don't always get the best water movement because the water has to travel all the way to the other side of the tank, bounce back and then come into the filter. With canister filters, the input and the output are more flexible because you can take the tubing to the intake and output pipes and move them and position them in the tank how you wish. So for instance, you could have the input pipe on this side and the output blowing the water or I guess flowing the water, not blowing because it's underwater, I guess, but flowing the water into the opposite direction so you know that the water is moving all the way to the other side of the tank into the intake and so the cycle goes on. I hope that makes sense. Circulation is mostly just about water movement and the more the water in your tank circulates, typically the cleaner it'll be because all of those waste particles are being picked up along the way. All right, the next thing to think about is the noise and distraction factor. If you've ever had a fish tank, you know that that thing is humming, bubbling, making all kinds of noise and you also want it to look as nice as possible. So if you have a bunch of wires or things hanging off the side, it can kind of distract from the beautiful little oasis that you're trying to create. Some things I think are important to consider. Hang on tank filters, hang on the outside of the tank. So it's pretty much unavoidable. You're gonna see some part of that filter on the outside of your aquarium, as well as the intake tube going in. Also, because they have this waterfall situation going on, it can be kind of loud. Some people find it soothing. My tank with my power filter is actually in my room. And so just like this constant flow of water kind of noise. And some people like that, but other people, it drives them insane. Canister filters, by contrast, usually sit underneath the tank. So you rarely, if ever, see them. And they just have the intake and output tubes inside the tank. Additionally, because there's no water, like hitting the surface of the water, making a bubbling noise, it's not as loud. Sometimes it has a bit of a low hum, but that definitely fades into the background. And I have to say that the canister filter is the clear winner in this category because it's quiet. Well, quieter. It's never completely silent, but it's quieter and you can't really see it in the tank. Okie dokie. Now to the thing that everybody always wants to know about, and that is what does this cost? What is the price difference between these two? Hang on tank filters in general tend to be less expensive than canister filters. But as we've seen in this video, canister filters just have a lot of features and benefits that hang on tank power filters don't have. So a filter like this, Aqua Clear 70, which I would recommend if you have a smaller tank, this runs you about, I think, 60 to $80. I'll link it down below on Amazon. If you want to support the channel, feel free to buy through that link. A cheaper canister filter like this, on the other hand, will probably run you at least 120 bucks, if not 150. And this is a very basic version of a canister filter. My most favorite canister filter and the one that I'm using on this tank behind me right now, the Fluval FX4 
This canister filter is like $300. So it's a very significant price difference. But I will say that this is a piece of equipment that's gonna be running on your tank, hopefully as long as your turtle is around which could be a very long time. So it's definitely an investment, but keep in mind all of the benefits to that. And I would like to add that for bigger tanks, sometimes that's your only option because you're not gonna put three hang on tank filters in order to get the filtration capacity for a larger turtle. That would just be my two cents. Of course, the purpose of this video is just to provide all the information so that you can make a decision. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Are you on team canister filter or on team hang on tank? But anyway, those are my two cents. Feel free to agree or disagree if you found it helpful at the very least. Feel free to hit the thumbs up down below. Also, huge shout out to all the patrons who help make these videos possible. I'm so grateful for your guys' support and I will see you guys next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye!